hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i am showing some filter in uh, rivet how to do some filters in rivet so for example we need to do some uh, cable tray filter and uh, some um, conduit filtering how how we can do it i done some videos before uh, so this is a simple exercise how we can easily we can do the filter so just type vv uh, first okay then go to filter then uh, edit new so just create one uh, okay for example this is a cable tray one okay so for example cable tray one i am just giving a ct01 okay just keep in mind your name this one's ct01 and select this cable tray and uh, cable tray fittings from here and then select the service type from here okay service type i'm choosing and just equal and i'm giving ct01 okay uh as the same name i am giving here okay then uh, click okay and i just need to do another one i just uh, go to here ct02 okay uh, then give you can choose you whatever in your company standard the naming you can give it that one uh, so i am choosing this cable tray and cable tray fittings and i am choosing service type over here uh, you can choose some some other thing also size and everything so that is depends upon you and i am creating this one zero zero two okay then click okay and just uh, you can continue with that one and another one is ct zero three okay then click okay uh, then you can choose this one uh, cable tray and cable tray fittings the same method you can use for everything so um, so i'm creating only three and equal equal to ct03 ct03 and 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 another one we need to create the, that conduits also so just uh, we'll just mention like uh, con uh, dash zero one for conduit okay just click that one and they're just creating like uh, uh, conduits and conduit fitting you need to select from here and equal to service type uh, just type the service tag equal to uh, con dash zero one okay like that we can create it and just need to do it another one um, con conduit okay uh, dash zero two okay that that is the one next is so then select this conduit and conduit fittings from here okay conduits and conduit fittings and select from here a service type you can you can use in another another way also this is a simple way equal to z o n dash zero two so so like that we are created this filter and then what we need to do just add that one and we need to add this all okay zero conduit and uh, uh, this all okay just click that one and we need to give a color for here that all the things so you can choose whatever you need uh, the patterns you can give it for example i am choosing this solid one and i am just uh, giving this name for one okay and here also by this one you can give it and i am choosing this one for that one and click ok and another one i am see cable tray 2 i just uh, need to solid fill and i am just giving this uh, red color and same thing you can uh, do over here also and i'm chasing the red okay just click ok and click ok so next one uh, cable tray 3 i'm just cho choosing that one and we can choose this uh, this number uh, like this okay then i just select from here this is a simple exercise those who are working in electrical and if you like my video please select my um, like my video and uh, subscribe my channel and it's related to autocad and rivet and if you have any questions you can directly pin me i will i'll help you about that one and for this one conduit you can just uh, select this one and you can choose from here and uh, you can select this color okay so like that we are doing okay so for example this one this conduit conduit two and you need to choose one color for example you need to choose this color then select this one click okay and here also you can choose that one and uh, select this color okay just select this color click okay and just uh, need to be and and so we need we know this names ct01 0203 and conduit 1 and 2 okay so we'll just uh, try how it's work and we'll go over for the system tab and first we are creating a cable tray and uh, uh, for for example channel cable tray and we choose this one uh, ct um, what what we given we just need to check it for the check it that one first okay how we given the name okay ct01 okay so just just go here and cable tray and choose this uh, service type 
um, ct01 okay then you just uh, draw uh, draw a cable tray and you just need to give the size from here and uh, the elevation we can say like uh, 3500 okay one cable tray and just you need to start from here and draw like that okay you can draw uh, draw like this cable tray like that okay so one cable tray you can easily you can draw uh, draw the things like this okay so wherever you need you can draw it okay so so like that we can uh, draw one cable tray with the filter okay and another cable tray you need to go there and just uh, we need to uh, draw the ct02 okay then the size you need to change that one to um, uh, 450 so you can choose from here and you can draw the cable tray easily like that okay so up to here i am just uh, giving that one so just as give a space uh, between that two okay and and next cable tray ct03 okay so for example you just need to give me giving that ct03 and you just need to uh, draw like that uh, draw the cable tray uh, i think you can change the size from here and you can draw the cable tray like that okay it, it is it is going there so so like that we can uh, make the cable tray and if once you once you uh, go to the 3d view how it's look so go select like that and go like this and it was showing like that you can see fully the cable trays how it's showing so you can change the from here fine and uh, change this uh, shaded and everything okay we can go to vv and uh, you can switch off this uh, uh, scope boxes and everything okay and you can change from uh, some uh, view template from here architectural plan or something like that so it will uh, change to that and uh, and you can change to this one none okay click ok and you can go to fine and you can just give a shaded so you can see the cable tray is uh, going like that and the same thing we can apply over here and if you can stretch this one uh, like a uh, uh, um, like that and uh, you need to uh, you need to see the uh, all the filter over here just type vv and we need to implement the filter over here add that one and just uh, need to add these things over here click ok and it's the same things you can uh, give here the color and everything which color you use it there just to give that one okay so for example i'm just giving this one okay and click ok and another color you just which one you choose it you can choose that one also from here okay the same thing uh, for another conduits and everything so you can uh, do the do the same way and here you can give it another color even for example this is blue so just give a blue color and just give here also blue color okay so this is a simple exercise those who are working in a um, can, for the for example the conduits also you need to give so just give the color for the conduits and you can solid fill and you can just give like that okay click ok and here also can do two this is this is effectively for all the not only cable tray some other lightings and another things also you can divide it, uh, you can separate like uh, using filter lot of useful for this uh, uh, filter options and click ok and click ok so that will uh, implement it over here so easily you can uh, review the things okay uh, for example here you need to do some other uh, branches for this one for this for example this is cable tray one okay then create similar so you just need to be do this one cable tray one and and from here you can draw the uh, draw the things like that okay and if you need to draw uh, conduits then then go to the conduits okay then you just need to be service type con1 con-01 so we given like that and you can choose the same um, like here here you can uh, select the um uh, size of the conduits okay then you can draw the uh, draw the conduits like that so so this is very simple things okay so just go to here and uh, just do it fine so you can see the conduit will be run over here and another conduit is 02 so just need to be do 02 and you just uh, just draw uh, draw a conduit like that you can simply make the conduits wherever you need so you can uh, filter it that one and you can uh, uh, draw the conduits easily okay if you if you go to the 3d so you can see the conduits also run over there and even uh, we will will we need to change one thing over here because we we given the same color for that one okay so just need to be changed that one to another color 
so it will affect over there okay so so like that we are arranging the filters filter for the conduits and everything so you can you can run the conduit like even in the 3d also you can draw the conduits easily so this is a simple exercise those who are working in electrical field so if you understood these things please subscribe my channel it's totally related to uh, autocad and rivet yeah, and please join uh, join me or also also in rivet uh, means in my channel so it will help me help me to grow okay thanks thanks for watching thank you